Brewing Current Turbines was established in the year 2000-2001 and we were established for the sole purpose of developing tidal technologies. And tidal technologies are where you actually generate electricity from the flow of the tides rather than the rise and the fall. So it's a bit like um, windmills under the water where we actually have what looks like very much like a wind turbine except it's with the blades under the water so they're actually driven by the tidal currents. We installed the CGEN tidal turbine in Strangford Lock in 2008 and it's been there over four years now. Um, it generates 1.2 megawatts into the Irish grid. Uh, the electricity is actually purchased from us by ESBI. Um, it's been running very, very reliably and we're now looking at taking that technology and developing it into arrays. So it's a single device sitting in around 23, 20 metres of water and we're looking at developing smaller arrays, 8 to 10 megawatts in, uh, off the coast of Wales and the coast of Scotland but we're also looking at the potential for actually deploying this unit off um, the coast of Northern Ireland and maybe on larger arrays off the coast of Scotland as well. Siemens first came on board with, set with MCT and invested in MCT in around October 2010 and they took a very small minority stake. In the middle of uh, 2011 they took a fuller stake, a larger stake, moving uh, up to just below um, half ownership. And over the Christmas period, they decided that they were actually going to take complete ownership. So in February this year, we became a Siemens business, and we are now 100% owned by Siemens. So Siemens have been very, very successful in the offshore wind sector, have been one of the UK's largest providers of wind turbines to offshore wind farms. They see the tidal technology has been a logical step moving from wind to tides over the next five to ten years, and see that as a logical market sector to exploit. So one of the benefits of tidal energy, compared with other forms of renewable, it is totally predictable. The tides are actually controlled by the phases of the moon. So we can actually predict the tidal currents 20, 30, 40 years ahead. So when you're looking at scheduling electricity onto the grid, especially with renewable technologies, it's, the, that predictability actually helps quite a lot. So there is a benefit to tidal technologies in that form. And also, uh, water is a thousand times more dense than air. So effectively, from a much smaller cross-sectional area, you can actually generate quite a lot more current, quite a lot more electricity. But it's not to say that the areas where there are strong currents that you'd actually seek to put wind farms anyway. They are sort of complementary technologies that will actually coexist many years to come. Uh, Strangford Lock in Northern Ireland, where CGN is located, is one of the most heavily designated sites in Europe. It's an SAC, SPA, Ramsar site, area of outstanding natural beauty. And when we're going through the consenting process for the project, the environmental concerns were probably number one on the regulator's, concern, regulators list. So we actually entered into a very, very significant environmental monitoring program, which cost us many millions of pounds to actually fulfill um, those requirements. And the main concerns in the area were things like the grey seals, the common seals, the harbour porpoises. But we do actually have some other frequent visitors, well, infrequent visitors to the lock. Like this year, we've had minke whales, bottlenose dolphins, and a basking shark. So it's been quite intriguing this year uh, and the fact that CGEN is there means that these creatures are actually spotted more frequently than they would be if CGEN wasn't because people are more aware of what's, what's going on around them. So fortunately we've had a totally clean bill of, clean bill of health. We actually did a very very in detail um, environmental monitoring pro program for three years after CGEN was installed. That work concluded in April May 2011 and was fully reported in January 2012. Uh, so we're, at the moment we are no longer in doing any more environmental monitoring but if required by the regulator for any specific facet which may appear in the near future he has the ability to actually ask us to turn the monitoring back on again but at the moment there's no requirement to do that. Our immediate future is that we are looking at an 8 megawatt array to, to the east of Skye in an area called uh, Carl Ray in Scotland and a 10 megawatt array off the coast of Skerries in Wales, um, which both projects will hopefully be deployed in 2015. And we are working with other developers in the UK, looking at other tidal farms around the UK to provide Siemens technology to them. So this is a 1 40th scale model of the CGEN tidal turbine in Strangford Lock. Um, basically we have a drivetrain on other, the other end of a crossbeam each one of these rotors is 16 meters diameter. Each one of these drive trains is, is rated at one megawatts. The concept behind the CGEN tidal turbine is that we can actually raise the whole of this structure above the water level to maintain it. 
Up here we actually have a live feed from CGen actually in Strangford Lock at the moment and as you can see it's generating 1.2 megawatts of electricity. Uh, the tide is flooding at 3.8 metres per second um, and we're generating 50 hertz into the grid so that's actually a live feed.